as we're getting ready now for the banquet, I'd just like to offer up a, a few thank yous, first of all. First of all, I'd like to thank all the moms and also some of the dads just for bringing in a great selection of a good home-style buffet. Let's uh, give our moms and dads a good round of applause. For you. Another special thank you would be uh, Mrs. Maggie Hardings, who's uh, my secretary, the middle school secretary. She put together over 273 different awards and spent a tremendous amount of number of hours double checking, double checking spelling, make sure we didn't leave anybody off the list. So Maggie, uh, let's give Maggie a nice round of applause. Could not go too much further without thanking the student council under the leadership of uh, sponsor Brenda Kalp and the student council for just doing an outstanding job of putting this uh, banquet on with all the displays. So I'd like all the student council members to uh, stand up and uh, Mrs. Kalp. All good banquets, all good schools, all good school systems have has to have good school boards. Port Recovery is the same, and our uh, school board, I would like to recognize the members within the uh, Port Recovery Local School Board and just thank them for their continued support of the activities in the middle school. President Dan Colleg, Vice President Steve Wendell, Dan Judy, Dave Hall, and Jack Stogner. If you're present, uh, please uh, stand up. At this time, I see Becky standing in the background. I uh, really want to give a huge thank you for, for Becky for coordinating all of this and just uh, making sure we have these 22 pieces of chicken left at the end of the uh, buffet. So let's give Becky a nice round of applause. It great, gives me great pleasure now to introduce our first teacher as we're going to be starting our awards presentation just momentarily. Our first teacher is going to be Mrs. Anderson, and for Mrs. Anderson, this is also going to be her last middle school awards banquet. She's going to be retiring at the end of this school year. She's taught 34 years within the Fort Recovery Local Schools, and also over 40 years of education in the state of Ohio. With no further ado, I'd like to introduce Mrs. Anderson. Let's give her a nice round of applause. We had the uh, seventh grade social studies. And I'm going to read off my class, and then Mrs. Judy will read off hers. Uh, first student is Keith Ford Camp. Was Lockdefell. Sarah Shaneline.
Sydney Wilson. Kelsey Feely. And Chelsea Potcutter. My seventh graders would include Brian Bauer, Adam Fullenkamp, Elizabeth Osterloh, Janelle Sweeterman, And the top seventh grade social studies student this year was Alex Ten. Then next, I'm doing the eighth grade social studies. A plus students were Julie Colley. Erica Leonards, Natalie Leonards, Olivia Sweeterman, Kristen Wendell, Jared College. And the uh, top student for eighth grade social studies is Abby Bax. <laughs> Next is uh, Geography B, and the runner up for that this year is uh, Mason Hebrew. It's my pleasure to join Mrs. McClung uh, to make the presentations for 8th grade language arts tonight. Uh, the students who are being honored tonight have had an exemplary uh, performance in all the areas of language arts. Uh, they're very accomplished at reading, at writing, uh, interpreting literature, speaking and listening, vocabulary, and of course with their grammar skills and all the different areas that go into a good language arts student. Their attitudes, their behaviors, and their work ethic have been impeccable throughout the year. Otherwise, you would not be able to main that, maintain that type of average throughout uh, the entire course of the year. Earning awards uh, for A-plus average in Mrs. McClung's and in my classes in language arts this year. First of all, David Toby. Also for A-pluses, Abby Back. Get that to Abby. Julie Colley has an A-plus average. With an A-plus average, Allison Cook. Congratulations also for A-plus average to Natalie Leonard. And with an A-plus average also, Olivia Sweeterman. And the top student this year, uh, congratulations, top student in LA-8, Kristen Wendell.
also a big part of our program is the Reading Counts program. And in the eighth grade, we'd like to recognize those students who were in the top two. Uh, she's not here tonight, but the second place person for the number of points when we uh, did this award, 540 points throughout the course of the year. That's not including the summer Reading Counts points. And that we will get to Abby back. So congratulations to Abby. That's a great job. We are obviously are um, sure that reading is a lot to do with what kind of education the students are able to get. So it's great to see them uh, exceeding the required points by the leaps and bounds that these students have. And the number one reader as far as reading counts points for this year was 619. I know he's had a number of them since then. Daryl Osterlow. Congratulations, Daryl. Great job, English students. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, working with you and certainly with the other students in the class. So you can go ahead and have your seats and we'll let Mrs. McClung do the collab award. Our top collab student is a very hardworking um, young lady. She goes above and beyond in everything, Julie Colick. <laughs> Next is Mrs. Kalk with language arts. We always have to turn in our grades like the first part of April or so it seems like before the year is even half over for our top students. And this year it was really hard because I had three students that was only a hundredth of points apart at that time of the year. So, by the skin of her teeth, Elizabeth Osterlow, you are my top A plus student in seventh grade language.
Josh Wendell. Alex Ken, Brian Bauer, Amy Link. Jessica Kaiser. Eric Brackman, Jacob Alleg. Kendra Brown, Keith Fortcamp. Rachel Ramble, Sarah Shayline, Kendra Toby, Caitlin Wendell, Amber Wendell, Sydney Wilson. plus average, and the top student, believe it or not, was the boys. It was one nine weeks, Derek, one nine weeks, Mr. Pohl, but the person that came in on, on top in April was Jesse Buckley, my top sixth grade student. I'm sending you some good readers here. I had two ladies, back and forth and back and forth. I want to kind of call them a tie. If uh, Danielle or Elle would read a book, then Alexis 
would come back the next day with another book. So they both were almost at 300, and, and then I, we kind of stopped. They could have probably went further. So um, top student was L. Sutter, and right behind her was Alexis Smith. Here, the sorority sponsors a writing contest. And Mrs. McClung is going to help me with those awards. These students receive their uh, money in the fall. For eighth grade, first place, Erica Leonards. If you girls just want to come on up. And Julie Colick, second place. And a tie for third place would be Ryan Garkey and Kristen Wendell. These are the eighth grade winners. For seventh grade, first place winner was Abby May. Second place, Emily Metzger. In third place, Joshua Wendell. And Alex Tim. You see some of these seventh graders were also uh, published writers. And I can remember from sixth grade, those two boys on the end. Okay, uh, sixth grade, first place this year went to Katie Fortcamp. Second place, Derek Sutter. And third place, Katherine Pettit. County Elk sponsors a contest every year, and our, this is a county contest, and we had a eighth grader win third place, Derek Garkey. Good job, writers. We have one more writing award, and this is Sharon Lee is going to present that this evening. On behalf of the BMW Patriots Pen Essay Contest. This essay contest is open for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. The topic the students had a chance to write on is why I am an American Patriot. The second place goes to Kristen Wendell. And she receives a hundred dollar savings bond. And first place goes to David Toby, and he received a $100 savings bond. Family Consumer Science. I have a semester class for all eighth graders. Um, I am allowed to choose one top student, which makes it very difficult. We, uh, I think somebody else said before, we go down to our hundredth point. And this year, my award winner is Abby Bax, who is not here, so I'll make sure she gets her award. Um, and next, we have Mrs. Monroe. Like everyone else, it's very difficult to choose some of these uh, students for these awards. I have seventh grade art for a semester, and I have all seventh grade students. My top seventh grade student this year is Stephanie Hart. The next presenter is Mrs. Sutton. Good evening. 
I look out through here like Mrs. Anderson and I think, gosh, I'm on second generation. So <laughs> once again, it is very difficult. I only get to choose one student at each grade level and it does come down to the 100th of a point. This year's sixth grade PE award goes to Jacob Mullenkamp. This year's seventh grade PE award goes to Chelsea Potcutter. And this year's eighth grade physical education award goes to Carissa Will. the awards for the sixth grade math students. I had several of them with A pluses and then one top student. The first A plus is Derek Sutter. Another A plus goes to Jesse Buckley. You gotta get a girl on the running. And this goes to Kelsey Antra. And the top math student, sixth grade math, goes to Joshua Fole. <laughs> Next, Mrs. Lincoln, myself, will present the seventh grade awards. Um, I have the seventh grade awards, and then I'll do the eighth grade math, and then the algebra. Um, I'd just like to thank Mrs. Heitkamp for doing such a wonderful job with the students. She has them fifth grade year, sixth grade year, so by the time they get to me, um, I've got real good quality kids to work with. They're, they've got a great math background, and we can really soar after that. I'm especially um, proud of the seventh graders and the eighth graders. They have worked so hard for me. Um, I push them pretty hard at times this year. I have I've given them a lot of challenging stuff to do. And at the beginning of the year, they look at me kind of cross-eyed like, are you serious? But um, boy, by Christmas and January, they start saying, you know, I think I can do this. This is going to be OK. And then they start doing the extra problems. And that really is um, really quite amazing. And I'm, I'm very proud of them. So for our A pluses, like uh, Mrs. Heitkamp said, she has a section of seventh grade. I have three sections of seventh grade. So our A pluses start with Sydney Wilson. Mrs. Heitkamp student. We also have Adam Fullenkamp, Elizabeth Osterlo, Chelsea Potcutter, Alex Tin. And one more A plus before I say the top. Um, our other A plus is Taylor Wendell. If you give our A pluses a hand, please. <laughs> this top student had some tough competition, as you can see. Go ahead and stand here. Um, our top seventh grade math student had to beat all of these people, and fabulous, fabulous math student. Our top student is Nathan Fullenkamp. All right, thank you. You may have a seat. Thank you, Mrs. Heitkamp. Oh, Nathan, I'll have to get you a pen. I forgot about that. Uh, my regular eighth grade math class, I have a top student. This Young man I've had for two years now, and I've watched um, a lot of growth with this young man, and I'm very, very proud of him. My top eighth grade math student is Doug Leonard. Now on to my 
Algebra Kids. We have a brand new book this year. I'm thrilled with the algebra book that um, Mrs. Osterlo um, helped to select. Actually, she did a lot of the selecting, and I trust her judgment. She picked a wonderful book. Um, I think these kids have had a better algebra uh, education than what we were able to offer with our, our prior material. And these guys are really going to go to the high school well prepared for their Algebra 2 and onto their uh, geometry and their advanced math. Um, these are really, really tip-top kids. My eighth grade algebra A pluses are Jared Colleg, Allison Cook, Natalie Leonards, Olivia Sweeterman, Kristen Wendell, Abby Bax, Tyler Hart, and if you think the competition was tough in the seventh grade, you should try to beat these math minds up here. Uh, this student is my top student and was able to do that. That would be Data Toby. Thank you, students. Mrs. McClung is going to come up and we are going to uh, present the Spelling Bee Award. All of our Spelling Bee participants this year were tremendous, and at this time, we would like to recognize our top um, winners for the Ford Recovery Local Spelling Bee. First place was Abby Bax. Second, David Toby. Fourth, Allison Cook. And fifth was Joe Gonzalez. the county B and couldn't go um, but the rest of our scholars were able to go to the county B and David did an outstanding job there and received the second place and that enabled him to go to the regional B where he received fifth place at the regional B so congratulations to David and all of our scholars <laughs> and Mrs. Anderson will be next with a sixth and seventh grade sign Here to work with Mrs. Crystal Hollenkamp in the seventh grade science, and uh, I've enjoyed learning a lot from her and going forward with the science students and the science education. First of all, in the sixth grade, the A pluses, Derek S. Sitter, Danielle Sitter, Ashley Holman. The top A plus student, Joshua Cole. Okay, I had seventh grade science. I had three periods, and Mrs. Anderson had one, and we kind of team planned and taught our seventh graders. So, to start off with, the A plus students, we had Ms. Janelle Sweeterman, Ms. Caitlin Wendell, Mr. Adam Fullenkamp,
And our top A-plus student for seventh grade science, or I should just say our top student, was Nathan Follenkamp. year teacher. So, I will treasure and remember them forever, let me tell you. Alright, we had um, several high achieving 8th grade students in science, um, starting with our A plus average, um, David Toby. Kristen Wendell. Olivia Sweeterman. Erica Leonard. Jared Pollock. Brittany Sudoff. Our top student for 8th grade science was Ms. Abby Back, and she's not here, so nice job. My first presentation will be to the 8th grade class officers and um, their job doesn't really start till October, November, December and then they give a lot of their noon time after they've eaten up to get things ready for the DC trip. So this year my class officers were president was Hunter McAbee, which I don't think she's here. Vice president was Jill Post. Trying to give me pins and certificates or something else. The other group I'd like to recognize is the yearbook staff, and the yearbook staff consists of seventh and eighth graders. Uh, the eighth graders this year were seventh graders last year. They were trained by the eighth grade, and then it was their job this year to train the upcoming seventh grade. This year, uh, I had an outstanding editor, and she. Uh, basically did saw my job if you want to say because every year Linda who is with Life Touch comes down from Lima the kids get a day to finish up the yearbook and it just happened the day Linda was coming I got a phone call from school saying my son was sick so I had to leave so I basically put my editor in charge so let me go ahead and introduce her and she was Kristen Wendell I get an email from Linda the next week and said, your editor was outstanding, she kept the kids working, and you know, she just really um, got things moving, and I wasn't there. Then, our book is due, the deadline's due. My daughter was getting married in Vegas, so I had to leave, and we had one page to finish, and I told Kristen, you finish it, you get it sent in, and it'll be done, so she did and she did an outstanding job as editor this year. My assistant editor, editor is seventh grader Grace Reisner. <laughs> okay. 
My eighth grade staff this year, and we'll wait till they're all done, is Kelly Hall, Caitlin Judy, Julie Colick, Kayla Colick, uh, Allison Cook, Andrea Leonard. Erica Leonard, Natalie Leonard, Hunter McAbee, Adam Cole, Jill Potcutter, or Jill Potcutter, Jill Post. I'm sorry, Jill. Gage Rex. Brittany Sidoff. David Toby. Rebecca Toby. Okay, this is my eighth grade staff. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> you can stay up here. My seventh grade, Eric Brackman, Craig Hart, Abby May, Emily Metzger, Claire Potcutter. Erica Toby, Caitlin Wendell, Taylor Wendell, the way it worked out this year Almost every student was assigned one page that they were responsible for. And then we just put it all together. And it is a tremendous looking yearbook. It has come in, but the company made a mistake and they're sending us labels. So as soon as we get those on where they need to go, uh, your students will get the yearbooks. But it is a fantastic looking yearbook this year. Every year we take the yearbook to Ball State to be judged. And I can see this getting some several awards. So thanks to you guys, and you did a tremendous job. <laughs> Next is Mrs. Gineppe. Good evening. The student that I'm recognizing this evening started with me second semester of last year and has continued this year, uh, Bill Osterlo. He was chosen a lot to do with his work ethic. What a kid. <laughs> Just enjoy him tremendously. We have study hall going on at the same time he's in there. He's always willing to help his peers, helps me. He loves to read, so he gets first dibs on some of the books sometimes. Just a great kid. Thank you. Good evening. I'm here to uh, announce the band awards, and I'd just like to say how wonderful it is to have so many students involved in the band program for middle school. I think uh, it's about 50% of the entire middle school uh, plays in the band. So that's pretty amazing, and uh, I've met uh, a lot of wonderful students and a couple to acknowledge tonight. So we'll start out with the, the sixth grade band award, and it's always definitely a tough decision because uh, there's a lot of great students, but uh, this award goes to Duncan Wood.
Uh, for seventh grade, another outstanding student, uh, seventh grade music uh, band award goes to Tana Hart. And the eighth grade award goes to a uh, fantastic trumpet player who played solo and ensemble, also played the junior high honor band this year, Brian Garkey. And next up is Mrs. Heinrichs. Yesterday, I had the honor of uh, presenting all of my choir awards at our choir concert yesterday to many of the kids that you see up here. But tonight, I get to present my top student in the sixth grade general music class. And she's a really, really great student, and I'm looking forward to having her next year in choir, Courtney Wilker. And my top student in my seventh grade general music is my one and only girl in that class, Chelsea Popcutter. <laughs> see all the sixth graders in keyboarding, and my top keyboarding student this year was Ashley Hellman. I also teach computer applications, and I have them for one semester, and my top student this year was Eric Brackman. presenting the Tech Assistant Awards. And they have to be a Tech Assistant for a semester to get this award. First award is Matthias Kester. Cody Groovy. Sierra Pew. Dylan Westford. And that's it. One of the great things I get to do every year is student council. 
And at the end of the year, I always debate on if I want to do it again the next year. Not if I want to, but if I have enough time to do it the next year. And it's just something that I can't not do for some reason. These kids are just so great when you see them and in school, but when they take on other responsibilities as well is unbelievable. And today's seventh and eighth period, Mr. Shuttleworth gave us to get out of, of class to get ready for tonight, to get ready for the banquet. And my eighth graders have been working in my room, I know, for at least two months every day during lunch to get things ready, decorations and that, for tonight. And so Mr. Shuttleworth comes down this afternoon and says, well, what do you need done? And he looks around and he says, wow, you have a nice group of kids. I, everybody was out working and before I knew it, he left. You know? <laughs> so he comes in and checks and says, wow, because this group of kids just really work well together. And um, <laughs> I know I joked with him a little while ago. I said, if you want to have a scary sight, take 12 kids, 200 pounds of potting soil, and eight, flat, eight flats of plants and say, have at it. And <laughs> it was a good group. So anyway, the president this year, I have no idea how she did this with everything else on her plate, but bless her heart, I'm glad she did it. Kristen Wendell. this year, which will be president next year, is Craig Hart. And my secretary, you've heard her name many times tonight, is not here. Miss Abby Bax, so we'll get that to her. And my treasurer this year was seventh grader Kelsey Felix. <laughs> and Miss Kayla Collick was an eighth grade member. Miss Caitlin Judy, an here, an 8th grade member, <laughs> Emily T. Link, 7th grader, <laughs> and I'm looking for great things out of my 6th graders coming up, Jesse Buckley, What's this world coming to? We have awesome kids coming up. Nice job. Um, since it's Mrs. Anderson's last year teaching here, uh, student council got her a beautiful purple and white candy bouquet. So she's going up here.
But parents, hopefully tonight you've been having fun. I know as a teacher and as a principal, tonight's been an awful lot of fun. In fact, I was sitting over here just a little bit ago uh, reflecting. Earlier this year, in fact, uh, last uh, September, I went to Florida and uh, my niece was in a, a, a wedding. It was, in fact, it's her wedding. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, as we were in, the, the wedding happened to be in Orlando. So at the reception, just talking with some other guys sitting around the table and uh, you know, they all went to Daytona Beach, or they went to Universal Studios, or they went to wherever you go in Orlando. And so they said, well, Ted, what are you doing for recovery for fun? <laughs> and uh, I had to reflect just for a couple of minutes. But if, if, if I had that opportunity again, I would say, I had a lot of fun going to middle school awards banquets. So kids, this has been a tremendous amount of fun tonight. Just uh, honoring you with your, uh, a lot of awards for a tremendous amount of hard work. Speaking of hard work, at this time we're going to be recognizing different students who have received straight A's for the entire year. Now parents looking out here, I've been here uh, 34 years, so I know that some of you did not receive straight A's. So... <laughs> I, re I really want you to uh, make sure we applaud loudly for the students. At this time, I'm going to invite Mrs. Stogner to come up to the stage, and we're going to, uh, together, pass out some awards. First are going to be our sixth graders. These students received all A's for the 2007-2008 school year. Jesse Buckley. And we'll hold our applause till they all come. And uh, sixth graders just stay right on up here. Ashley Holman, Kinsey McEldown, Josh Pohl, and Derek S. Sutter. Our sixth grade straight A students, let's give them a nice <laughs> Thank you so much. Next will be our seventh grade students who've received all A's again for the 07 08 school year. First, we have Tana Hart and Elizabeth Osterlo. Janelle Schwederman and Alex Tim. And our last the recipient would be Taylor Wendell. Graders. At this time, we'll uh, bring our eighth graders. The eighth graders had a class percentage of 16% of the eighth grade class received straight A's. And I'd be remiss to say that in sixth grade we had 8%, 7% we, in seventh grade we had 6%, but our eighth grade class, 16%. So you are able to see tonight we have um, some truly outstanding students in our eighth grade class. First would be Abby Bax, who uh, was unable to be here tonight. Kirk Fortcamp, Jared Collick. Julie Collick, Allison Cook. Erica Leonards. Natalie Lennox and John Link.
Kristen Overman, Olivia Schwederman, Dave Toby. And our final one would be Kristen Wendell. Next students we're going to be recognizing will be our citizenship winners in grades six, seven, and eight. In citizenship, we're talking about students who have that good work ethic, that determination, and that drive. They not, might not be the straight A student, but they're that student who just works very, very hard and goes over and above the call of duty. But some of these students who are going to be receiving this you will also notice that they have had some outstanding grades. In sixth grade, we have Jesse Buckley and we have Jessica Vogel. Just stay on up here a couple more minutes. And as you can see, we present uh, one uh, female and one male in per grade level. In uh, seventh grade, Connor Rammel and Krista Schmidt. In eighth grade, Charlie Rover and Kristen Wendell. <laughs> Let's give all the recipients of the Citizenship Board a nice round of applause. Down, but I, I need Connor and Charlie. You need to stay up here just for a couple more minutes. And again, I'd like to thank uh, Mrs. Stonger for helping out so much with the uh, presentation. Mrs. Stonger just does a fantastic job with the guidance and just getting everything together for us. But gentlemen, we're ready for the closing comments. Uh, go ahead and put your words down first here. This is going to be one of the, it's called a visual. So, Connor? <laughs> and Charlie. Well, our theme tonight was on seeds. But let me tell you a little bit of a story. This past December, uh, Sue and I went uh, Christmas shopping to Walmart, of course. Well, we, we were looking at Christmas decorations, but lo and behold, we saw a sign that said, Spring Bulbs, 60% off. With that time, we had a vision. Ah, let's plant 300 bulbs. <laughs> and this was in December. Now, everyone knows why Walmart would have spring bulbs at 60% off in December. First, it was really a dry uh, November, and our tools just would not even go in. In fact, I had talked to Mike Schwederman about uh, what he used to plant his bulbs. He said, well, you need to go out by an auger and put on your drill so you can <laughs> drill the ground. And so uh, see, we had uh, tried that, and we were able to plant a lot of bulbs. But as you can see, Charlie, hold that up. Um, before we got all the bulbs planted, it started to snow. But, Connor, you can put this tulip set. We were able to get some of the bulbs. That's a good guess. <laughs> But as you can see, we did have some success in getting our bulbs planted, but not all 200 of them. You know, kids, you're wondering at this time, what, we're, what, what direction are we heading? 
in life. Just as in school, we all have a vision or a dream at times. But with that, without a lot of hard work and a little sweat, the task sometimes will not get done. The bottom line is in life, all of us will have great dreams and visions of things we'd like to do. But after the dreams has to come a lot of hard work. So students, I want you to keep planting those seeds involved so that one day someone might come up to you and say, are you blooming with great dreams and visions? Or are you just sitting there holding the bag? <laughs> Connor and Charlie, thanks so much. Uh, I tell you, both Connor and Charlie have helped out so much around this school. Connor, with the uh, sound and lighting, uh, we just could not do without that young boy. And uh, Barb Sotvine, she is his right and left man. So uh, uh, appreciate that tremendously. Well, tonight uh, we've presented many awards for special efforts in a lot of different areas, whether for academic achievement, citizenship, or any other many other types of words were presented. In a small way, students, this is our opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for trying your best, for not giving up, but most of all, for just being yourself. This was your night. I want you to enjoy it and take our wishes that these awards may be but one part of a very rich and rewarding life for all of you to come. Thank you. With that, this concludes our 2007-2008 awards banquet. Parents, thank you all for uh, coming tonight. Thank you so much for bringing the food. And at this time, have a good night. Thank you.